Alrighty, welcome back to part two of getting out of snooker. So in the last one, we did the two rail escape. Now we're actually gonna go uh, with this one to three rails. So it is the same system. Lining up, say for this one, lining up the center part of the pocket, and then coming around. So lining up the center, and then moving that down, finding the angle on the cushion, and getting down and hitting it. The same goes for this one as well. Find the center. Come around. There's your angle. Come up. There is there. Hit that point. And there you have it. So again, using, using the same system, just make sure when you move the cue up, it does take a little bit of practice as well, because if you move it up and, and move it this way or this way, it's gonna be out. So, and again, each table does play differently, so you may have to play, depending on cushions and cloth and all that stuff, you may have to play these shots a little bit harder or a little bit softer to get the same result. Unfortunately, it's not going to be the same for every table, but this is just a general guide. So, there you are. Now here's another snooker that we sometimes find ourselves in. A lot of people do play it off the jaw, and that's what we're gonna to do today. But most people will either play uh, bottom with side or top, or they'll just plow into the cushion, hoping to get the right result. I'm going to tell you how to get the result more times than not. So when you play the shot down the table, uh, it's not center striking, it's actually uh, bottom. So pretty much six o'clock, say on the clock face, striking literally uh, from, where, from where the flat part sort of ends, right there, that's where we're, that's where we're hitting. So just as it tapers in, Roughly about there. Literally about there, okay? Here it is. So again, it does take practice. You can't hit it too soft. Can't really hit it too hard, you've got to hit it at the right pace, and you should get that result more times than not. So do a little bit of practice, and then if it comes up again one day, your percentages will increase of you getting out of trouble and potting that black, and also putting on a bit of a show. Here is another situation we find ourselves in. Obviously in international rules, we, we have to make an attempt. So if you're ever in this situation, and you want to go from obviously uh, hitting the white ball from this end of the table to try and find yourself potting the ball in this corner pocket. Just where the cushion uh, gets flat, just past it, that's where we want to hit. At about a medium pace, no side required. Look, some tables you might need a little bit of left hand side, some tables you might not, but at the end of the day, every table does play different. So I'll just show you again. Just hit just past the jaw, and you come off one, two, three, and down and up to black in. All right? So you can see, now I've just, just missed the jaw, come off one, two, three, and down this area. All right, so there's another one to keep in the memory bank. Obviously, yes, the white is here with this one. If it was here or here, um, you know, if it's in that gen general line, then you still can, you know, play, play that shot. All right, 
So you know if it's anywhere in that general line, then you can play that shot and get out of snookers if the ball's over here. Now, these are only just a couple of little ones that you can actually keep in your memory bank for now. If I, sit, if I sat here for an hour and showed you 100 different ways to get out of uh, snookers, it would literally uh, go in one ear and out the other. So it's, um, I'm only showing you bits and pieces here or there just to obviously make them sink in and then literally you could use them tonight, tomorrow, whenever you want. So there's another one there to keep in the memory banks. So again, I hope you enjoyed those couple of little quick tips. Um, store them away up here and uh, you'll never know when you might need them next. So um, there'll be more of these in the, in the future. Uh, and again, if you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, it helps me out, helps the channel grow. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thank you.